Hello and welcome back to another episode of Recursed. Yeah, <laughs> let's move on here. All right, there's seven more to go here, and then I don't know how many rubies and possibly you know we yeah, got diamonds too. It's that's an achievement, right? Anyway, wormhole. Wormhole is our next lever. The door will lock on it surprisingly. Not that there have been any other doors. Let's check it. Yeah, check the chest first. In the chest, there is nothing except for one really important thing, which is the, the crystal, the exit. Okay. So, I guess let's see what's in those cauldrons. In here, there's a chest. Wait, so we started in blue, right? We're now in red. Should keep, keep track of that too, or orange. It's more orange than it is. Um, red. Okay, so there's a key. You could get that key, you know, just make a pot and then go out, put the chest in, throw it in there, go down there, swim out, or swim up, you know. It's not that bad. And this just takes us back? Yes. And then this cauldron also takes us here. So there's not... Wasn't there like one where we had two different cauldrons? Like two different extra thingies? I thought so, but maybe not. Anyway, so we also ultimately need to flood the end chest, right? Because there are no blocks and we definitely need something to help us with, you know, getting up there. So as I said, you know, getting the key feels like it should be okay, because you just put this in here, right? Oh, but you can't, right. Actually, no. Actually, just no. Okay. Because we can't flood it from here. And I mean, we have to start like this. We can't carry this chest out and obviously we can't open the door yet. So we definitely have to just jump over to the other side here and start here. We could carry a cauldron in to the cauldron, but that seems dumb. Because like, I mean, if you do that, what does it accomplish? If you go in here now, we just, you know, it goes nowhere. <laughs> so I don't know, that seems pointless. I don't know why we need two cauldrons of, on this side though. I'm not sure why we need those. Maybe we need to carry one in a chest somewhere? But it's still just gonna break it if we move it from there, right? Maybe not. I could move this cauldron in here, I guess. Is that sensible? I'm not sure that that makes any sense, because then what do we do? We do this, and then what? Like, there's no point, right? Just deleted that chest. Well, we didn't delete it, but we can't move it anymore. This is a weird one to, like... The star seems very strange. I don't really know what we're trying to do it. Like, what's our first step? That's what I'm not sure about here. We want to get the chest in here and flood it. But how do we do that? How do we get the chest in here and not be, you know, down in the left little pit there? We need to be up here or on the right side. I'm really not sure. So we tried to put the cauldron in the chest and then make the char and it didn't do anything. That would help us. We could put the char in the... the, the cauldron in the char. But what's the point? That's what I want to know. Still doesn't seem to be a point to that. I hate that we had to make this jump every time to start. <laughs> um, if we move a cauldron in to the chest and then make the char copy, that doesn't really help us, right?
Yeah, I need to carry... What you definitely need to do somehow is carry this chest. This chest. I want to pick it up. I, I press jump instead. This chest into the char version of this room that's in this chest because there's no way we can dupe this chest. So we can flood it. But we also somehow need to be up and not down. And I don't know how we do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how we do that. Because we can't really do much. And we could carry... Wait, we, okay, let's do this. We haven't done this. We could carry this chest out here. And we make this. It doesn't really help here. I wish it did, but it doesn't. Because there's nothing here now. But if you carry the chest back first, and now we could carry the chest in. But it would still be down here, not up here. That's, that's a weird one. I'm not done with that idea yet, though. Uh, or am I? I could leave the char here and put the chest back in. I don't know how that helps yet. <laughs> oh, then we can go into the... We can move the char, right? Maybe? I don't know. If we go... Wait, 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 if we move the char in here now and then go through and then go in from this side, does that make any sense? I mean, we're changing things, so I don't know. So I put this here. And go here. And go here. But I don't have the chest now, obviously. I can't really get to it very easily, can I? Because I can't move up there. I'm always down here when I go in like this. I need to go in through the char with the chest. Alright? Uh, the cauldron, I mean. Not the char. Because if I go through the char, we always have a problem with that. I don't know why I like this too much. It hasn't really helped yet, but I do like it. It seems right. <laughs> it seems right. Oh, man. If I put a char in first. And then make a copy. And then I go in here. And I go here. Then here's the chest. Okay, yes. That seems like amazing progress. We only need one key, right? I'm not sure now. I haven't thought, like, um, this is it. That's <laughs> as far as my, my plan goes for now. It feels better to leave the key here. And maybe keep the cauldron or keep the chest. We need to keep the chest because we need to flood the other chest or something. What do we need to flood? Yeah, we need to flood the other chest. Let's put the chest here too, actually. And then leave with the cauldron so we still have everything. We don't lose anything right now, right? Because now we can go in here and grab the key. And carry this one out here, and then we go in, and we go in, and we drop, and we swim. Okay, very good, very good. Very confusing. <laughs> These are really confusing somehow. Flight. 
Okay, we have a stinky cauldron and um Yeah, some very wrong gears again. Um What's in the chest? Another chest and the exit. Um and in this chest this is the same room, okay. And on the other side, on red or orange, I have another stinky cauldron. That just takes us back. That is weird, I wanna say. But I guess I have to throw cauldrons back and forth. If we go in here and then we would like throw the cauldron up there and go out. Which we're not gonna reset the cauldron because it stinks, but we only we how do we get back to a cauldron? Like if you go out through here, so we want this cauldron to be here, we want the other cauldron to be in the chest, right? But if we move the chest in, then the chest is in the other thread. Hmm, <laughs> I'm thinking here. Uh, where do we put stuff? Like if we put this in here, it seems wrong because if we like we can't we can't back get back to red then, right? Like if I throw this we can't get to the red cord and to hop out on this side. And we can move both cordons into one onto one side, right? Because that's just gonna make invalid stuff again, right? But it's not you know, we only have very limited options here. We have this chest, which is the same chest as the other chest, and then the two stinky cauldrons, that's all we have. So there's really not much we can try here. Um, side and then go in here and we're yeah in the same place which is weird and wrong right because now we can't oh no we can because that one still links us to the other side that is strange so how did I do that how <laughs> did I just do that we need to repeat that No, but you can't really repeat it because we can't. Yeah, we can't get up there. And if I go here and then exit, then I'm not where I want to be, right? Like if I exit now, I'm in red. I'm in that empty room then, right? Now I'm stuck too. That's very strange. I mean, we did it once, but I don't think we can repeat that. We need a better, a more solid approach. I don't know. Because wait, if you go in here, we're still in red, right? Yeah. The background changes every time, which is weird. But if you carry it out, it doesn't really make a difference. I'm confused here. 
<laughs> I'm not sure if you can tell. Do we need to flip them around? Do we need to do it like back and forth because the like it changes? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we're doing here. It's very weird. That's the only thing I know for sure. It feels like starting with a second chest is never a bad idea here. And I might be wrong about that. But right now, like this cauldron takes us here still. And this exit takes us into this room, which is bad. We don't really want that. Now we're in the blue version of this, which is better. Then we throw that and we go back out and we're in blue and we go in and we end up in red. Yeah, that's what we want, basically. But now how do I keep going from here? How did I just do that again? What was the trick? What's the trick? Like we leave and then we go in and we're in a different version and then we throw it and then we go back out. We can't really do that over and over, can we? And we can carry this one deeper now, but that doesn't really make us make any sense, right? Because then we're here. I'm carrying this out here. Like if you go in come out yes but that only works if we <laughs> do this uh, we need to switch these around somehow right like if we enter from blue then this is blue which is good but we can't get up there which is bad we don't have any stinky chests so we can't also get up there from here <laughs> this is weird. The cordons are just really weird to work with. I guess I'm probably not. They're probably not that weird. It's just they're so so used to chests and and I guess chars a little bit that the, the cordons are just very different. Moving this one in here is just a bad idea, right? Because now we can't go there anymore, can we? Well, no, we can. That is very strange indeed. Because now we can like put this here and then this here and then go here no now we're stuck why though none of these can work anymore <laughs> that's not very good We don't have we don't have anything in blue anymore. That's just so strange. Also, I mean the stinky cauldrons make me think we can make like another ruby thing here, but I don't know how like where do we put the cauldrons to make them invalid. We already put both in the same place and that didn't do it. If you move this one in here and then take a chest out, I should make another chest first. We can go into the red version of this. Now, if you throw. It. No, yeah, it's already broken now, because I did it. No. He's still... Okay. The, the, the down one takes me to blue, and the up one takes me to red. Now if I throw this one... No, this one takes me back, though. And not the other way, right?
Now we need to build a thing where we can go back somehow, and I don't know how we do that really. <laughs> like, how do I switch them around? Basically, is my issue now, right? Because if I go in here, this works. This goes to this one in red, and this one goes to this one in blue. But if I jump into the other one now, I think it's just gonna put me in the same thing, and the corner's gonna be broken or something. So I can't just throw this one now. Not this one, this one up here. Because I can't... I can't jump into the other one, I believe. I might be wrong. But then how do we work around that? Somehow we have a chest, I'm guessing, but I don't know how. Like if you go in here now, we're in a deeper version of red. Does that switch them around? I don't think it does. But let's just prove the thing that I think is true. Like if I throw this and go in here, this is wrong. Yeah, this is wrong. Because now we can't do anything anymore. Because we're on the wrong, like they're it's important where they came from, I guess, in order for them to link back. And if you jump into the one that we moved from the other one to here, then that's wrong. And it like loops us or something, or I don't know. But there's like one we can enter and one we can we come out of. The problem with that is that we need to move them alternating, or we need to find a way to switch them. And we have that, that, you know, that chest, obviously. The chest has to be the key, but I don't know how. I'm confused, but I think that, you know, we have to have both cauldrons in here. I just don't know how we make that a thing that is good yet. It's definitely weird. No, we just, wait, if you just take a chest every time. So this is the one from red. This is the one that takes us to blue. Right, so we want to throw this one. And now if we take a chest, we can then go here and get this one here. And then we throw this one, because now we're alternating them, right? It's not really where I'm meant to go, I think. No, I need to carry this chest in and then do this. Yeah, okay, now we got it believe because <laughs> now we go in here oh but I can't get up there and get that card on now and this is the one that takes us back to brew right we want to hop into this one and if I go in here now we're down here which is not good Um, I need to do it one more time, and I don't know how. <laughs> like, you want to throw the one that's on the right up to the goal and then jump into this guy right here, but I don't know how we make that work. I think we messed it up. Because we need... Can I make that jump? Okay, I can. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What did we do? We put the chest... I'm very confused now. 
we can jump into this cauldron, right? No, the other one is the one we want to jump into, I believe. So, but if you carry this one in this chest. No, I don't know. Why is this so weird? Maybe we needed to throw the other one. This is this is the wrong one, right? I need to know. Yeah, it is. Okay. <laughs> uh, how is this hard? I don't know. It is hard though. It really is. So this one, this one takes two. Takes us two red. And now we're in red. So this one takes us two blue. Let's get this. No, this guy. And we come back out here. This is the one that took us two blue. So the other one takes us two red. This is the one down here takes us two red. That one takes us two blue. And we're in blue. <laughs> Why is this so difficult? So if we throw... This one up there, we can go up there. And we're up there, but then what do we do after that? Because then we can't get the other cauldron up there, right? I don't know. Because <laughs> if you throw this one up here, then we can get up there. Yes. And we're in red. And we can just drop this down here though, right? And then we can do everything again. Is that true? Because now if I put this here, I can get up here. Uh, from here I can go down here and get this guy. Yes, okay. <laughs> it was not that bad, I just, you know. We had the solution. This is right, right? Yeah, okay. But I think there's a ruby here or a diamond. Because we have stinky, stinky cauldrons. I just don't know how we make them. Like, how do we make this invalid? I feel like I should be easy, but <laughs> I don't know how. Like if you put this one here. And put this one here. This one takes us two blue. And if you exit here, put this here and go in it. No, it just loops us again. There we go. Okay. Because we removed the one from red and put it in blue, and then we couldn't go there anymore, or something. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> it's really weird to think about. Okay, so there's a block here. There's a key here. tricky to build the, the thing here. Well, if you don't need the blocks anymore, we're fine. Because we have to stick. But we can just carry this one down here and get the blocks out. Can we jump that? Oh, without the key, maybe. Definitely not worth it. What? That's not jump over, really? Come on. That's a very rude game. Can't this even jump over now? Yeah, okay. 
But we lose the chest of the Brock, which might be an issue going forward. Also, there's a stinky chest here, so that means you could get a diamond from here too? We need two keys. <laughs> What's this chest? This is this room again. Okay. trying to do here. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna work though, right? If we... Do this. No. <laughs> Enough space here. And then do this. And then do this. And do this. This is crazy. <laughs> this is really crazy. <laughs> no idea how to do the ruby though. Uh, oh, there's a cauldron in here. Come on. <laughs> uh, okay, there's a key in this place. And in this place, there's a stinky cauldron, which means you could make maybe another ruby. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh man. Wait, what's this? Is this a chest that goes to a chest, which goes? To a stinky fan? What? <laughs> There's too much stuff going on here. But we probably need the... No. Okay, we need to get the fan out. But how do we do that? This is very, very deep down there. We need to carry something down there, right? So we can put the fan in, but what could we carry down there? We don't have anything. We can move the cordon in there. Then we can get back here. Like getting the keys is easy. This is moving this chest in, but how do I move the the fan out? Because it's you know, like this is too high to jump. This is too high to jump with something in our hand, and then this is way too high. So we need to drop down there or something. And we can't dupe the, the, the fan stinky. So we need to put it somewhere and then leave from there or something. That's insane. I don't know how we do that. We probably could have carried one of the ruby chests in here too. And we're exiting. Yeah, we could have. That's so wild. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure if that was required though. Um, so how do we move the fan up there? It doesn't seem possible at first glance. Maybe I'm missing something. I mean, yeah, the key is not a problem, right? You get the key, go out, drop the key, go in the chest again, get the key again, go out, and you have two keys. You just need that fan to fry up there, but we can't have that. It would have to be this cauldron, right? Yeah, actually, this is fine, right? I think we're losing this chest and taking the keys now. I'm not sure if that's true, but we have two keys here. And I have to carry this card around. Mm. Down 
here. Yeah, okay, that's fine. It was not that bad in the end. Let me drop. Very annoying, but it's okay. Wait, what? <laughs> no, yeah, no, yeah, this is the diamond, it's right. <laughs> I was confused. <laughs> Didn't get the ruby. Right, right, right. Uh, so how did we make the ruby thing again? Let's look at that one more time, real quick. We put this here and then we go through here. This is the wrong, we're holding the one from red. Are we moving it to blue? No, that's wrong. Is this broken now? No. Now we're in blue. This is the one that belongs in blue, and this belongs in red, right? And now if we put this out here, then we end up here. Right, and then. I don't remember what the end looked like. <laughs> but we need some blocks, right? We could put one here, maybe. We could put more here, even, but we can't put them more in the chest anyway, so there's no point in the end. Maybe this is wrong. Maybe there's a better way of doing this without losing the chest. Jump us with the key? Of course not. <laughs> it's very annoying, honestly, to set this up. This might be doable. Yeah, okay, so that's how we get the key out. Two more keys, how would we do that? We still have the key chest, but you don't really have a good way of getting there, right? And we also need what? How many blocks would we need? How did we even get up there? <laughs> I mean, you could do this or whatever. Way too high up. Um, and if you leave now, it's gone, right? So you need to have the block chest survive somehow. But I don't know how. I mean, we could carry this chest out here, right? And then we could like, move this chest in here. Oh, yeah, that's wrong. That is definitely wrong. Um, so we can go out now. No, no, no. With the other one in here. I don't know. I'm not sure. It's weird for sure though. That that's that's what I'm sure about. But that's R. I don't know if we could just enter this one then probably, right? Or maybe not, because that's the one we moved, so it's not gonna be like I don't know. How do we save this chest? Is that doable with one block if you place it perfectly? I 
mean, we can try, right? Because we're not going to be stuck if we don't mess it up. Which we might. Come on. That's too high up for sure. Oh, we can throw it up, though. Ah. Really? Like a pixel away? <laughs> I mean, it's fine, because we can do this. But okay, so that's how we keep the block just alive. All right, so we have all three chests now, which is great. I'm still not sure how we do it, though. We move both. We can move both chests in there. We can move one chest inside the other. But that's also bad, I guess. Um, because we need two keys, so we need to go in here twice, which means we need to bring in two blocks at least. But then we need a bunch of blocks. I feel like we definitely want the block chest and the green chest, or in that room at least, not necessarily, yeah. But where do we put the green chest? <laughs> That's tough. Um, I'm, I can't. If we put the green chest in the block chest and then carry the key chest in the block chest. No, but it has to be something like this, right? We have we have some layers here. We, if we put the green chest inside the block chest, then we could leave and always get a new block by resetting that. But we actually need to reset the key room. So if you put the green in the key, then we go in the key. And then we leave the key, we get the block. We put both of them in there. So the key contains the, the green and the, and the block. Then we can go in the block, grab a block. Then we'll lose the block chest and we reset the key chest to get the second key. How do I lay this so I don't lose our chests or one of the chests that I still need? Because we need blocks in here too. We need blocks for the key, one block for the key each, for each key, I guess, two blocks total. And then we need I don't know how many blocks we need here. Again, we can do the, you know, we can throw them, so that, that should help. One block might be enough. If you put it in a good spot here. But actually the key chest needs to be inside this one so we can get two keys in here, right? So if we carry this out and then we put the key chest in the green in, in this chest, the, the non-green chest, so the gold chest, I guess. And that contains the key chest, and we can get a key and carry it out and put it here. But then where, where do we get the block chest in? We can't. I need to be able to get blocks though. We just need to like make a cycle thing work here where we can go through the green chest to get back somewhere, but I don't know where. <laughs> I don't know. If we make... It does definitely feel like we need the key chest inside the gore. So we can get two keys out, right? 
Otherwise, we can only get one key out. Or in, like we can't carry two into the gore because they'll reset and lose them. So we need to carry them uh, back out of a chest into the gore room. So the chest containing the keys needs to be in the gore room. So if you move the key chest into the non-stinky version of the gore room, then we could get a key out, but we can't leave. So that's a bad play, probably. Like if we carry this in here now, we can't leave. And we need to get the rock somehow, so that doesn't work. And we've carried this one in here. That doesn't really help. We need to we need to stack this deeper, but I don't know how we do it. It shouldn't be so bad. I don't know why this is so bad now. Because we, we overcame the one big issue which was reaching stuff. But now that we have that, it should be fairly doable. But maybe it's not. I don't know. Because we're always gonna lose a chest, right? Because they're not stinky, we need another stinky thing. Where we can keep stuff. Yeah, I don't know, this seems impossible, right? Because the key chest has, like, that, that's not a logic. Error, right? The key chest needs to be in here so we can get two keys out because we can't carry a key in and then leave and get another key because then we'll lose the key. That makes sense. So the key chest needs to be inside there. But if we carry the key chest inside, then we can't also carry the block chest in and we need a block to get a key. And we can't carry both of them and we can only carry this one in somewhere and leave. This doesn't really help us. Unless we carry... If you put the green chest in the key chest, and then the key chest in here. Now we just need a block. We can't have a block like this. We need at least a block. Yeah, that's too many things that we need to keep. Because you also can't put that anywhere and leave it. Because it's not stinky. I'm not sure what to do here. This seems wrong and broken. Or I'm missing something. What if we... best way to make can we leave the diamond place we should end this episode we don't find out that though right leave that here can we enter this like that no it has to be on the ground i guess
Come on, Glendy. Come on. Like, seriously. I shouldn't have brought this, though. It doesn't matter, just... But you can't leave here. So you can't really bring anything out of here. Right? Like there's no exit to get one level higher. You would need to bring something in, but you can't carry it over here. So that can't be it either. I have no idea how to do that. We'll think about it tomorrow. But not today. <laughs> not today. We made fairly little progress. <laughs> we, get a, we did. We did get a diamond, though. I mean, that's that's good to know at least uh, that you know we can still accomplish that. We should really focus on the normal crystals for next time, though. Uh, anyway, <laughs> that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you then. Bye bye.